Recombination involves rearrangements in DNAs over homologous sequences. There are some recombinases that act on very specific sequences, while others are not specific for the sequence at all. They just require that the two DNAs recombining have similar sequences. Cree recombinase comes from the E. coli phage P1 and recognizes a 34 base pair sequence and recombines two of them. The site is not palindromic and thus it is not the same sequence on both strands and it has directionality. For a DNA containing two such sites, they can be arranged in the same orientation, called parallel, or on opposing strands, called antiparallel. Parallel site recombination, topologically speaking, results in excision of any intermediary sequence, while antiparallel sites undergo inversion. Such flipping systems are popular targets for controlling gene expression. Floxing a gene means to encode a gene flanked by lock sites into the genome of the cell. Through later expression of Cree in the cell, that gene is excised and thereby deleted. Another popular sequence-specific recombinase type are the phage at sites. Most of these recombinases act on asymmetric substrates and thus the reaction has directionality. In the most popular system, from lambda phage, a DNA with the at P sequence is recombined with the DNA, such as the genome, with an at B sequence. The resulting sequences are named at L and at R, and, are, and these are different sequences than at P and at B. Thus the reaction is not symmetric and can be driven in one direction or the other. One of the most useful sets are the various prokaryotic phages, mostly but not all are from E. coli. The recombinase component is called the int recombinase, and then there, and then there is a second protein called excise which upon expression reverses the directionality of the reaction. These enzymes are used in some methods of genome engineering, in gateway cloning method of mo moving DNAs from one DNA to another, and in several genetic circuits for digitally controlling gene expression. The other type of recombinases are the sequence independent ones and they are used primarily in vivo. Yeast and B. subtilis cells readily catalyze homologous recombination between two very similar sequences. E. coli can also do it, but it requires additional genes for it to be efficient. This is most often satisfied by introduction of the lambda phage red genes. This process is useful for recombineering, which is recombinase-based manipulation of the genome, or plasmids in E. coli, using synthetic DNAs. The most common example involves deleting specific genes in the genome by recombination with an antibiotic selection marker flanked by sequences homologous to the gene. The cellular RecA protein is also involved in the reaction. In the cell, it is involved in DNA repair pathways by stabilizing single-stranded DNAs. RecA can also be used to promote homologous recombination in vitro, forming the basis of some DNA fabrication methods.